means of defense. Fine. I'll swipe them next time you're asleep. And I'll be sleeping with them under my pillow. Just scan the ship already. Rex, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? You try holding it for a while longer. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. You've got to find a way to lock it in place. Uh, I cannot... I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we got to get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello? Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms? But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these buck bombers. Fine! Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Clark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps in... Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing! Rocky, you okay? <coughs> yeah! And dry now, too! Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a Regalian? <laughs> yes! Their heads are ridiculous! Whoa! That is not a happy monster! Oh man. Another murder... Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw... Touch me again and I paint these cliffs gray! Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbent, let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. But your speculation is also conceivable. Monster. If we 
we can't get across it, maybe we can go around it. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Quill's the greatest explorer I ever met. to know how Quill's guns can just make Everything okay, Peter? Yeah, just, you know, carrying water into ice. Go off. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we, uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? It is said that Anyone she... but Drax? I just heard that she's fair but terrified. Make of that what you will. It suggests we have some room to haggle. Unless she decides to kill us. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. You're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. What? Oh. Anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Ugh. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Ugh. Not talking. <clears throat> not even breathing. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. That is disturbingly fragrant. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Whoa! <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. I can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste, The cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Don't pet the tentacle thing. Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. any longer, Rodent. Your battle skills are sloppy and erratic. My skills? You've got all the subtlety of a brain-dead battering ram! Say the word, Peter Quill, and I shall single-handedly tear these fiends apart! Whoa, 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 guy! 
guys. These insults you keep tossing around, are we a team? Or should we just throw each other's lives away? Because the only thing that matters here is that we knock them out together. Who's with me? Who tops field? Can't Must wait, wait to take him down! Slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Hellbender has an accident? Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even Death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Snarf ain't never heard of roads? You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the yep. effort. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady A? We're gonna fight a monster queen? And if all don't go well? Then we'll know we should have sold oh, instead. Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take. One for every precious hair follicle on this flawless body. You have counted them. It's bizarre. Hey, at least I have something to count. <laughs> so, when are the rest of us gonna get jet boots? It takes years of special training to operate these things. <laughs> Oh, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the flark? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? 
So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. All because of one lousy source. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid claw monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but damn it, I'm not about to lose this deal after everything we've been through. So I'm gonna march into that ridiculously awesome palace and try to sell the... Let's just get this done. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flocking infinity bridge, is what it is. Ah, uh, you're being dramatic, Rodent. The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Groot? Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Maybe Gamora's right. We should try selling Groot instead. Oh, what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. Peter Quill. We're not a democracy, Drax. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. Drax. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, here we go. song or something we could sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called... Please Stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is Please Stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9, 2.1, 0 0.3 clicks, 4.5, 0 0.4 clicks, 0 0.5 clicks, 0 0.6 clicks, clicks. For the love of Clark, stop, stop counting, counting clicks! Star-Lord? That's the guy with the scary eyes. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself.
15 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. You can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you. Slowly taking over. Look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling Mom. out. Mom. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were... Standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. 
I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Don't you dare touch that dial. Leave that alone, I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. The longer you wait to get that gift, the more likely I am to change my mind about the movie. No way, you wouldn't. Try me. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Hand still stings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. I left the gift on my bed. Oh, I thought you said outside. Maybe I'll go get it, and you can finish up here instead. Uh, no, that's okay. Then get a move on. I know the real reason you don't want to finish our game. You're just scared that I'll beat you. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. I knew there had to be a catch. So what, now you're too old for gifts? What? No. I was just looking around, remembering things. Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> Wish they could have been here too. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter.
I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. Could really use a voice of reason here, Peter. Uh, Quill's asleep at the helm, which means I'm in charge, and we're doing my plan. The plan with the insect. It's not an actual bug, it's a tracker. So we can keep tabs on Groot after we sell him. Fine, but you're responsible for sneaking the four of us back in tonight. Not a problem. Man, look at this place. This broad ain't exactly subtle. Mind your disrespectful tongue. You're in her domain now. I thought the jungle was her domain. This is the inner domain of her domain. This place is huge. Maybe Hellbender really is a giant. Or she just needs somewhere to store her ego. Ego to It does not require storage. It is immaterial. 